When markets reopen tomorrow, we will be a little more than a month away from the first day of spring. Field work is gaining momentum now, even in southern Texas and the southeast. We bring this up in connection with NOAA's weekly drought monitor. Now, we've mentioned this several times before on this report, and as spring gets closer, that lack of moisture will be front and center, we think, in this grain trade even more. The current map showing moderate to severe drought west of the Missouri River all the way from the Canadian border to Mexico. Our private agribusiness firm has put record total acreage when you talk about corn and soybeans together this spring, over 184 million acres, surpassing the previous record, 180 million that was planted in 2017. With carryover supplies type, any weather delay, getting the crop in, or continued dry weather in those areas after emergence, we think will send futures into those four to five year highs. This is the bottom line report. It seems to us that a lot of folks are taking a closer look at the things they buy to make sure they're made in the USA. Well, if you look at any livestock ID tag from Ytex, you'll see that they're made in Cody, Wyoming. One more reason, livestock producers love doing business with USA-made Ytex. I'm Mark Oppold, wishing you a profitable day.